Hello. We're here. It's Keyforge time. You guys ready for the... We've got Keyforge five-star games with one-star decks. <laughs> All right, that's, so... That's for one-star peeps. We've got Corbin Discmare. Yep. Versus the because, Surf that avoids Orcas. Yeah, and this name almost makes sense. It's Surf as in, like, a vassal. Yeah. <laughs> um, instead of surf, as in like the water, as in something you shred. So. Okay, so we'll see who plays what on the surf. Okay. And I am on Corbin. The old Corbin. Disc Mirror. And Corbin has no amber control. Dustin and I were looking at this deck because I was looking at some of the cards in Corbin and I was thinking, hey, these are pretty good cards. Uh, what's the deal? And the deal is there is no. <laughs> There is no Amber control. There is not one card in this deck that can control Amber naturally. There is a Mimicry. Um, so you, you would have to like Mimicry your opponent's Amber control. But other than that, you're, you're just kind of stuck. And so. here it can get Berserker Slam, but yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. That's like, uh, that's the three more wolf deck. Yes. There's like, there's like some half synergies in that deck, but that Brobnar site is really bad. That Brobnar site is one of the worst looking Brobnar sites I've seen. It has three creatures. Two barn raisings. Yeah. Two barn raisings and a signal fire. And a flex. And a flex, yeah. The biggest creature in the deck is a six. You can um Storm! Oh 18, 18 months. months. 18. Woo! Year and a half. That's awesome. Year and a half. Thank you so much. Thanks, Storm. One year and one half. That's how we can track how long we've been yeah. uh affiliated at least. Right. <laughs> We're looking at Storm Strong's. Streak. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can start with the bat, right? Oh, yes. Yes, I can. And I will. And I did. Okay, the bet is up for the degenerate gamblers. Um, uh, yeah, so this should be an interesting matchup. Some bad creatures in that deck. Um, the Star Alliance is like all right. Like Star Alliance is like not dysfunctional, kind of like unlike the Brobnar. Yeah, it's just like doesn't do much. It's just yeah, it's pretty basic. There's certainly no Kirby shenanigans in there. Uh, five. Four. I'll go first. <laughs> I am going to say untamed and I am going to play and see. Go ahead. The Brobner. Play Gravel Guts, play Warrior's Refrain, play Ragwork. Slow the game way down. Yeah. All right, I am going to say Mars. I'm going to play Ulic Megamouth. I'll play Vizima Think Drone, and I'll play a Biomatrix Backup. Um, I need the keys. Move the keys. Ugh. Make sure we got them in the right order. What is the right order? The right order is red last. All right. So. Okay. I'll say Star Alliance. I'll play a Frain Capture. I'll play Chief Engineer Walls. I will play Universal Translator. I'll play Disruption Field.
Okay, I am... There's definitely no Red Barons. Well, there's still an Unloan Worlds Collide deck. There could possibly be a Red Baron in the future. <laughs> it doesn't... It, like... I'm building the habit. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, we're building the habit to have... Uh, to play around. Red Baron. And all those future Worlds Collide seals we're going to be doing. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say Sanctum. I'm going to play Staunch Knight. I'll play Commander Remuel. Um, I am going to discard Cleansing Wave. And your turn. I'll draw three. Uh, all right. So I'll I say... thought this was an I thought this was an inspiration. I, uh, but I think oh, so. okay. <laughs> well, I'll play uh, Star Alliance. I'm gonna fight the Remuel. I get a disruption counter. Play Nurse Soto. Healing. <laughs> Heal. Heal. Uh, I'm going to play Stunner on Walls. Still, Walls is going to reap. And uh, stun the Mega Mouth. He will take two from Ragor. Oh, God. Actually, no way I can get around that. No, there's not. I can. Actually, I can put the stunner on Gravel Guts. Okay. Uh, I can reap with walls. Use the translator to reap with Gravel Guts. Okay. Um, stun that guy, and then he dies. Okay. All right, that is it. All right, I am. Going to say Mars. Sorry, uh, untamed. I'm gonna lost in the woods, gravel guts, and frame, and I will shuffle in my Martians. Yeah, I'll we'll get my Martians. Kelly, how's it going? Yeah, if you have Red Baron, it's good for you. But if your opponent has Red Baron, it's bad for you. Jones Venture, yeah. I uh, um, I have always bought the um, shirt club shirts. Have them all somewhere. In various different states of disrepair, but... Um, Okay, and then I'm going to play Inca and stun Nurse Soto, and then I'm going to play Big Twig. And it is your turn, I'll draw. The Hank Co. Uh, yeah, I've got the... Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I buy the... I, well, anytime they do the, uh, the whole season's worth of shirts, that's when I just like, buy them all. I'm like, sight unseen, I'll, I'll buy them all in the dark. I'll play... Untamed. I'll play uh, Harmonia, which will give me one. Play more Wolf. Play Ghost Talk. Stun Stun, the Nurse. Okay. There's a lot of two power creatures in here for this rag work. Yeah, to just smoke. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like Red Baron's not too punishing you towards the red key for some reason, but it's like something, right? You're looking for good action in there? Yeah. I think Warriors Refrain is actually pretty good. Oh, yeah. Uh, I am going to say Untamed. I'll mimicry Warriors Refrain. So stun. Might Inca. Inca's gonna unstun. And then um Big Twig is gonna reap and exhaust uh uh the actually that doesn't make any sense because you play another one. I guess I'll get the ghost talk. 
And your turn. I will draw one. I'll say untamed. I'll play a Murmook to shoot the Inca. Play, I'll unsun Morwolf. Play Morwolf. Stun Harmonia. I like for this more with the garbage can for one amber <laughs> for a single amber. Yeah, I think I that's fine. Yeah. That's it. I am going to say Mars. I am going to play the Zima Think Drone. I'll play Uluk Megamouth. I'll play Bolter. I'll put a Biomatrix backup on, I guess, the Bolter since it, we've established that you know, our creatures. <clears throat> that's true. And go ahead, I will draw. I will the Broadner play Signal Fire. I'll Berserker Slam the Bolter. Okay. Do my I lose one. Play Mega Shorty. Play Shorty's Brew. The more and say check with six. Oh, I guess I don't. I have the Mermook out. Okay. I am going to say Sanctum. Okay. I've assembled my combo. Hmm. I'm going to uh, play round table. Okay. Staunch Knight is going to fight Mega sh Shorty, Shorty, Mega Shorty, Mega Shorty. Uh, he takes four. Uh, he had one more armor, right? Or he has one more power? It's plus okay. one power, yes. I am going to Inspiration Mega Mouth. Mega Mouth is gonna fight the Ghost Hawk. That's gonna let me use Big Twig, who's gonna fight Nurse Soto. Okay, I am going to Inspiration to ready, and I guess I'll reap with the big twig. Um, so he'll take two from the rag warg. Uh, I will stun and exhaust Mermook. I am going to inspiration. I, I, my combo is drawing all three inspirations at the same time. Um, I'm going to inspiration to uh, I think I net an amber if I do it this way. So I'll um, fight the Vizima Think Drone into the uh, Morewolf. And then I'm going to cleansing wave. So one, two, three, four. Um, do I? I think I just the pen seed back the cleansing wave. Oh yeah. Play it again. Yeah. Um, to get another four. Seems pretty good. Okay, check with 13. And then I will draw 5. Say untamed. I'm going to reap this more wolf. Play a more wolf. Play Rusnar. Fight the Megamouth. 
Harmonia. And that's it. Okay, so I will forge for seven. Yeah, if, Har if you reap with Harmonia, she explodes. I reap with the Marwolf. Oh, okay. Then it would explode because it had. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I healed it. I healed, healed it twice. It. I healed it twice, yeah. Okay. All right. I have assembled another combo. <laughs> I don't actually think I can play this card, though. Um, I am going to play Hunting Witch, uh, Ancient Bear, Ancient Bear. See, I have Fertility Chant. The problem is, I think if I play it, you go, you go four, uh, okay, you're at eight, I put you to 12, you forge for seven, um, and then you just use the untamed creatures that are on the board yeah. and win. So I can't use this, actually. Um, so, because we've established this deck has no board control, it uh, has no amber control. Um, so I have to do something that, like, keeps you from just reaping right away and winning on the next turn. Um, so I will reap with Big Twig, stun the Rustnar, and that also keeps you from killing your own Ragwarg. Okay, so you check with 9, it's your turn, I will draw. Okay. Ooh. I should actually play the Hunting Witch right here. Now that I think about it. It's such the Staunch Knight off, but the Staunch Knight does have Taunt currently, so you'd have to do something about the Staunch Knight before you could get to the Hunting Witch. <laughs> All right, I'll say Star Lance, say Kirkar, King Can, Brain, Kirkar. Yeah, my turn. Yep. So I forge for seven. And... Okay. So I'm gonna, uh, I am going to say Mars, which is going to give you that one. Uh, I'll put my archives into my hand. And I am going to... Phosphorus stars. Okay. Mm Do we have enough stun tokens? <laughs> uh, get two chains. Just gonna double up some double up some stuns. Yep. Okay. Well, I'll double it up like doing like houses. Yeah. Okay, and then I guess I'll EMP Blast. Uh, I will play an Uxlix Mega... I'm oh, sorry, this is Uxlix the Zookeeper. I'll get one from the Hunting Witch. I'll play the Ulic Mega Mouth and get one from the Hunting Witch. And then I'll play a Bolter and get one from the Hunting Witch. And it is your turn. I will drop a chain. Draw three. Okay, I'll say... Robner, I'm gonna Berserker Slam the Hunting Witch. Bang. I will discard Barn Raising, discard the Flex, discard Barn Raising, play a Mock Hunter. Future. Um. 
the uh, table is done, son. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to say, I'm going to say Mars. Oh yeah, round table's gone. Um, I am going to say Mars. And oh, the round table, yes. Uh, the bolter is going to reap and shoot. Um, I think Ken can. There's a situation where his uh, stealing might matter. Ulix is going to reap and stuff the Mog Hunter under Was that supposed to steal one for a Brawler last turn? Um, all the artifacts were blown up to, yeah, I think, I think you're supposed to. So. And then Ulix Mega Mouth is going to reap and let me use the Big Twig, who's going to unstun. And it is your turn. We'll drop a chain. Say untamed. Unstun. These guys. Uh, I'll play a Tentatalin. A Mab the Mad. And uh, that's it. I am going to say Mars. I am going to reap with the bolter. He's going to slag. I think Mab the Mad. I am going to reap with the Mega Mouth. Lady Farquaad, nine months. Thank you so much. Thank you. The Twitch Prime. Um, I will use that to use the Big Twig. Big Twig is going to Tap and stun the Tintadlin. Um, Ulix the Zookeeper is going to reap. And stuff. I stuff the Mermook under. Is that deck a key charge? Yes. No reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will stuff, I guess, the Rust Dara. And go ahead. Band tamed. I draw one. I'll reap with a Mermook. I'll play a printed Mermook. I'll play a Bramble Lynx. I'll reap with a Bramble Lynx. Bramble Lynx. And key charge. And key charge. Sad one to lose. Yep. After all that work I did to get back in that game. All those idiots. All those idiot untamed creatures I had to stun. This deck has. I, it's got a lot of untamed creatures. And by a lot, I mean. Every single one is an untamed creature except for a key charge. <laughs> is it 11? Yeah, it's 11 in key charge. 11 untamed creatures in key charge? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> True facts. <sighs> Nobody bet. Okay. So nobody minds if I click the wrong name. You click wherever you want. Okay, we got Spike Claw of the Eagle's Fort. And we got Domoish, Wu Norberg, Horde Leader. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go. I'm on Domoish. By the way, guys, we're going to be doing Lord of the Rings LCG tomorrow. Mm, this deck has Merkins. Diving into the saga, the saga of the Lord of the Rings. Merkins is pretty sweet, although it's worse in decks that have bad cards, right? <laughs> it's like a bunch of bad stuff. This deck doesn't look like garbage. Uh, Prosper Star stunned like 18 things that game. Yeah, Nick Cake almost won the game for this me. This is a double ground buggy deck. <laughs> But it's like, doesn't it have like bad creatures or or no? no. It doesn't have a ton of creatures. It's got style skulls too. It's got Foozle and Ganger Chieftain, and an Ogopo. It's three. It's three creatures. Yeah, it has 
Maruk. Yeah, it's got three. It's got two dominators. Yeah, this, but the, the problem is we really want the Brobnar creatures you can slam down next to the, the buggy at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Also, if you missed Warhammer Invasion, that was pretty fun on Friday. I think, yeah. we, did, I think we determined that that game was somewhat uninspired. Um, There's a lot of cool stuff going on in it. Yeah, it's got a lot of good ideas, but it, it's, it, it's clear why it didn't last. Yeah, it's it's another 90% game. Yeah. It's like almost, the, almost there. Now we're probably going to do Warhammer Conquest next week. We're getting closer and closer to current times. Uh, but we will go backwards in time at some point. Probably after Conquest. We do want to do Star Wars LCG soonish as well. Because that's a cool game. There's a lot of very unique mechanics in that game. Very unique deck building. Yeah, I love, I love that game. To be fair, it was corset only. Yep, that is that is. True. Yes, that is uh, true. We did we... not have the, the complex decks uh, that one might find after a few releases. And uh, the across allegiance decks as well, right? Yeah, like, so we probably... need to explore like the best thing that you can do with the decks. Yeah, so, yeah, you're absolutely right. There's probably a more correct play than what we like. Our third game was much closer because mm -hmm. we spent some, we both had a chance to develop our resources. Three. Uh, mulligan. Easy mulligan. Well, I'll keep it. I'm not playing around in here. Yeah, you know, this is just AOA matchups. Yep. Oh man. Mars side looks pretty good. I got some juicy Mars stuff going on. Resonator and the two dominators. I don't oh, know yeah. like, how I'm supposed to get to this. Okay. Play Foozle. Okay, I am gonna say shadows. I'm gonna sucker punch the Foozle. I am gonna play Lamindra. I'm gonna play Bullet Eye. And I'm gonna discard Swindle. And I'll tell you to go ahead and I'll draw. All right, I'll say Brobnar. Reap with Foozle. Actually, I'll fight Bullet Eye. Okay. Play Ogo Pogo. Put Blood of the Titans on Foozle. Play Ganger Chieftain and fight Bullet Eye. That's it. Okay. I am going to say Sanctum. I'm going to play Sanctum Guardian. I'm going to play Abade. And I'll play another Abade. And it is your turn. I will draw three. Say Mars, play a Shockworm, a Dominator, and a Xanthix Harvester. Okay, I am going to say Shadows. I'm going to Whistling Darts. Um, and then I am going to reap with Lamindra. It's going to get stunned. It is your turn. I will draw one. Say, Robnar. Play Bingle. The Kyle Skulls. A uh, one two punch to destroy Lamindra. That obeyed. Mm 
you get to capture. I'll send Ogopogo into the Guardian. Grape with Foozle. And I will... You get to capture one of me. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I am going to say Untamed. I'm going to save the pack. Chain. I'm going to discard Key Charge. I will Full Moon. I will play an Amber Spine Mongrel. He's dead. Um, one for the full moon. I'll play away the porcupine onto the Amberspine Mongrel, and it is your turn. I will drop the chain and draw four. Alright, so forge. Yeah. And for people who weren't paying attention, I foreshadowed what was going to happen that game by commenting that the Brobnar side only had like five creatures. Mm -hmm. Justin had them at the very beginning of the game. And they were very big and they caused a lot of problems. I did like say... take a. I had, I had that five card untamed turn a turn sooner, but I had to play the Whistling Darts ahead of it to try to get some people. Let's act on Placer Marrows. Play Sanctum Guardian and Group the Marked. Yeah, pile of skulls. Yeah, this is the this is like the this is it's not there yet. It's getting there, mm. but this is the type of AOA game then that you. I, oh, never mind. It's not. It's not everybody. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is the type of AOA game that I absolutely detest, where one side's creatures are so much worse, and the and the set is so built on fighting for the board. Um, okay, so I am going to play a Board and the Redeemed there. I'm going to play a Lion Baltrum. I'm going to put a Protect the Weak on the Amber Spine Mongrel. And um, a Bade is going to... Um, sit there? I mean, like, what am I supposed to do with him? Um... I think the Reaper just goes there. Yeah, and then he's stunned also. Like, that's, that's I'd rather true. have him, like, ready so that I can use him to fight. Okay, go ahead. I will draw four. All right, uh, I'm going to say Brobnar. The two grunt buggies. And Bingle is going to fight the Mongrel. So that okay. before Hazardous, he'll do his five damages. And then explode. Uh, I do get to do cap two. Okay. I am gonna say shadows. I am gonna sucker punch to do one damage to um, the Zizik Shockworm. I'm gonna discard Bad Penny. I'm gonna play a Merkins. I'll play Merkins there, I guess. Line Baltrum. Okay, I'll play him there. Uh, I will play a Knuckles Bolton, and it is your turn. I will draw. Six, huh? All right, I'll say Sanctum. Play Potion of Invulnerability. Play Maruk. I think the Sanctum Guardian's gonna slam into the Amber Spawn Mongrel. Okay. Maruk will fight Lion. I guess I could capture one for the Amber Spine as well. What? 
He captures one because of his armor. Oh yeah, and then another one for the kill. Okay. Uh, and then I will healing blast the Merc. Three or more? Just, yeah, it's four or more. Four so or more. Okay. Just kills. Okay. That's it. Okay, I am going to say Sanctum. I am going to know how harder they come on the Dominator. I am going to play Duma the Martyr. Um, I guess I go ahead and use her to fight the Shockworm. I'll draw two. Uh, I'll play another board in the redeemed, and uh, Borden will reap. And it is your turn. I will draw two. Play Mars. I will play Dominator. Amber conduction unit. And worm. Mars needs amber. And destroy them all. I will get Gordon. And one of these things. Oh, just this unit. Okay, I am going to say Untamed. I'm going to play a Marmo. I'll play a Nox and then a Marmo Swarm. Um, I will play there everywhere. So um, he'll take one and capture, and then this Merc will take one and capture. And then I'll play Song of Spring. And, uh, I was supposed to capture one for the the destroy them all. Oh yeah, yeah. So one there. Uh, okay, your turn. I will draw four. Remind me to never play a constructed deck with palace skulls in it. <laughs> this is your fifteenth warning, Mister Lizzo. Yeah, really. All right, I'll say say sanctum. I'll use the potion. But protect the weak on Maruk. Play uh, there's some arrows. So Marmo is a five power. And he's four. Okay, okay, I'll I'll fight him. Okay. So you take two. Oh, you potioned. Yeah. Oh, so I, you you don't he capture take damage, yeah, but I yeah, just yeah. I just capture one for you capture killing it for the pile. Yeah. Um, actually, I'll put that here. And then Nox is six. Yes. All yeah, potion prevents the damage, so the the damage is. Those two guys, and I'll play a gray rider here and fight the Nox twice. Mm, you f with an one one name, or did you did you not fight with him already? Oh yeah, okay. That yeah, case, yeah, I'll fight. I was thinking with both. I was like ghost talk. Yeah, it's so not instead of reaping with him, I'll fight and then I'll play a gray rider. And okay. Fight. That was a no, capture. Yeah, yeah, it's a capture. Okay. All right. I am going to say shadows. I'm going to put bone rot venom on the gray rider. I am going to play an umbra. I am going to have Perkins reap. Uh, bones. Knuckles. Uh, this amber actually, sorry, goes to Sir Marrows. 
Uh, Knuckles Bolton is going to fight that Sir Maros. Um, and then I am going to life for a life, sacking Merkins and killing this Sir Maros. Go ahead, I will draw. One, two, and then shuffle. Say Sanctum. Play a Chael. Fight Umbra. So armor captures and capture one for kill. I will fight Borden and reap with Grey Rider. He dies, but I don't get used to the to fight Borden. And I'll reap with Mirror. That's it. Okay. I am going to say untamed. I'm gonna save the pack. Uh, I'm going to play Rustnar and then I'm going to Persistence Hunting for Mars. Your turn. I'll drop a chain and draw to you. Let's see, check with N. Okay, I will say Mars. I'll play Carpet Floxum. Play Resonator. Play Fixed Finger. Play Beam Buckler. And I'll shoot the Rustnar. Okay. Okay, your turn. I am going to say Sanctum. I will play <laughs> um, uh, I am going to play a bond. I am going to Healing Blast the Rustnar. Uh, I'm going to Smite the Rustnar into um, the Beam Buckler. So it'll take three, Beam Buckler will take two. Uh, and I'll kill a Grump Buggy. Okay. Your turn. I will draw. I will say check with 12 because my keys cost me 11 right now. So. I think I say Mars. Play Mindworm. Oh, Mars needs Amber rolling onto the Rustnar. I will then trade off the Rustnar. One. Okay. I'll reap. That's done. Uh okay, you win. Okay. I can I can like kill some stuff, but it's not it like I don't even kill that much here. I can mm -hmm. like sucker punch a mindworm. Oh, that matchup was miserable. Yeah. I have like all these effects that do one damage. <laughs> Every single creature in that deck had armor. It's and there's like, like no five power creatures in that deck. Uh yeah, yeah. The matchup was just awful. Yeah. Jeez. I don't I don't know how I don't know what combination of cards I would need to win that game. Like looking at it. I have no I, idea. I don't know. Because Grump Buggy is like a basically one sided effect. Yeah. In that matchup, yeah. and there's two of them, so these are just costing infinite. I can't, like, I have, my creatures are smaller than yours. I can't use them. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't kill your creatures. I can't control your amber. I don't have amber. I don't know how I'm supposed to win that game. Yeah. Like, it, like any of those, uh, how you win any game of Keyforge if that is the case. So, all right. Moving on to the next game.
We'll, I'll stop devoting brain power to that game. All right, let's open this guy. New Coda deck. Odds of it being bad are pretty high. Let's get something. Let's get something exciting. Yeah. Lance, Lance, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be. It's gonna have like a Maverick library access in it. Okay. It is Sanctum Untamed Dis. Its name. Zemtor the Quick Cliff Artist. Hmm. Now, there are no legacies or, or I'm sorry, no no Mavericks. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Okay, so one three three I played the I'm on I already I already claimed it. You already claimed it? You got the last one. I played the last one? You played the AOA one. Oh, no. okay. That's fine. Oh we rolled for it last time. Yeah, we rolled last time and I said I got dig dibs in the Okay, that's fine. And then I guess it's a die roll for the World Collide. Yeah, yeah. But how's your first deck ever? Cool. Zemtor, the Quick Cliff Artist. Okay. Yeah, that was a really fun deck you got to play in AOA. I'm pretty pretty gel. Yeah. Pretty gel that. Uh, let's see. Mmm. It's got like stuff. It's got Coda stuff in it. It's like, it doesn't look bad. Yeah. It doesn't look spectacular, but I think it's it's probably better than the average bad deck. And a disc is probably good in this matchup. Yeah. The, the disc looks very mediocre. Dance of Doom is good, though. It does have Dosekis in it. It's got Tourette. It's got Poltergeist. Got mind barbs. Dance of Doom is good. It's got a, it's got like a little bit of everything. Yeah. The Sanctum, very medium. It does have glorious few, yeah. which is something to play around, and a doorstep. It's got a hunting witch. The uh, untamed looks very medium. Everything everything's pretty medium. I feel like. Yeah, it's got like a key charge, but no real ways to use it. So. This one. This is a World's Clay deck. Yeah. Okay. Brobnar Untamed Sarian. So lots of Brobnar Untamed O3 uh, decks here. Sure are. Two Phalanx Strikes, Senator Shrix. This uh, Sarian actually looks gross. Double Exile. Couple library apollosaurus, paraguardian philophosaurus. Hmm. Uh, the Brobnar is not awful. It's not great, not awful. Uh, the Untamed, not great, not awful. This is it looks like slightly below average in Worlds Collide, mm -hmm. which meant that it probably got crushed. No oh, contest. Hmm. Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. I didn't start it uh, because uh, yeah, he yet. hadn't opened the deck yet. So. Yeah. Uh, six. A four. Fifty-seven sass. Fifty-four Eric. <laughs> I feel like this hand is close to a mulligan. It's not awful, but I think it's close to a mulligan. I guess I'll keep it. I'll say Sarians. I'll play Senator Shrix. Very similar hand here. Um, I'll play Sanctum, Ocean of Invulnerability, and Sigil of Brotherhood. Okay, I am going to say Untamed. I'm going to discard Key Charge. I'm going to play Post Pixies. I'm going to discard this Grasping Fine because all it does is give you two amber. Oh, yeah. So. 
Uh, your turn. I'll draw. Okay, I'll say untamed. Play bigger. All nocturnal maneuvers your dudes. And play Nephilim. Okay, I am going to say Brobnar. We're going to play a NARP. Um, I'm going to play a Ganger Chieftain, and the NARP's going to fight the Nephilim. And then I'm going to play a Bellowing Patrizate. And I'll play Overrun. Doesn't do anything here. Your turn, I'll draw. All right, I'll play Untamed. I will Lost in the Woods, um, the Patrizate, and the Shrix. I'll play Nephilim. That's it. We get my you get your Bezos bucks. <laughs> Heck yeah, love the Bezos bucks. All right, my turn. Thank you so much, Slug Blast. I am it. going to say Brobnar. I'm gonna Smith. I control more than you. Uh, Ganger Chieftain's gonna fight your Niffle Ape. Since he has no choice, Snarp is gonna reap. And then I am going to play overrun number two. Jeez. Okay. I'll say check with six. It's your turn. I will draw two. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll play Sanctum. Play Howl the Blaster. I'll play Begone to gain an Amber. And I'll play a Shield of Justice. Ah, uh, that's the. There's the Coda Sanctum. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. There's the Coda Sanctum we know and love. Okay, your turn. Alright, so I will forge. Are you ready for this play? I uh, maybe. Are you ready for this? Hmm. We're gonna say um We're gonna say Saurian. I'm gonna play Philophosaurus. Mm. I am going to exile NARP to you. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's your problem now. Uh, I am going to Imperium. I thought about warding NARP and then giving it to you, so it was even harder to get rid of. Um, but uh, in this case, uh, I think warding post pixies just fine. Um, so I'll ward the Philophosaurus and the post pixies, and then I'll discard this other exile. And it is your turn, I will draw. I've assembled the combo. I'll say this. I will double hand of this the pose pixies. Okay. I will play a pit demon and terror. I will use poltergeist. I guess I def work there. Yeah, I guess I did. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping you over here. Just because hell blaster. Heal the arp. No, I'm just gonna heal my game. Heal pit demon. Okay. Okay. All right, we're gonna say Brobnar. I'm gonna trimmer the pit demon. I'll play Mog Hunter, Belling, Patcher's Eight, Grand Nine Toes, and I'm gonna reap with the King of Chieftain. Okay, and say it's your turn. I'll draw Sanctum. A Seki. I will. Where do they come to purge the Patcher's Eight? A blinding light to stun Brobnar. And that's it. And remember the glorious few. Um, so because of the glorious few, what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard Harmonia, Kangafent, and Rustnar. Then I'm going to play Low Dawn. Mm. Um, get two, and then I shuffle them back. Um, 
oh, with the post pixies. Might do, so what I should do then is discard the Kangafent Rustnar, keep Harmonia, play Harmonia. Um, yeah, that way I have a pseudo glorious view effect. All right, I'll say check with six and it is return. I'll say untamed. I use the sigil and reap with Zeki. Play fog bank so you can't fight. Play way of the bear. I guess I'll. And I will discard a key charge. Check six. Okay, I am going to say um, sorry, I'm gonna play Golden Spiral. Lophosaurus is gonna reap. Um, so I look at the top three. Archive one, discard, and then put the hand one. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, actually, so this was the, Oh, no, that's fine. I'll play it like. No, 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 no. This way, this way. This goes in the archives. This one is. Okay. I am going to play Triserian Legionary and Ward Harmonia. I am going to Phalanx Strike to kill Seki. I'm not going to Exalt. And I'll say check with 8. Um. Actually, I could kill off one of my own guys. If I exalt. Exalt like the Philophosaurus to kill off. That way you only gain two from the Glorious View. It, it, yeah, because you haven't played Glorious View and you haven't played Doorstep. So what I don't want to really want don't want to see is you to Yeah, that's fine. I'll kill off my own Ganger Chieftain, because I'm never gonna see him again. Um and I'll tell you to go ahead. I will draw two, and your turn. Forge. Uh, I will play Sanctum. Play Doorstep. Yep. A Glorious View. Play Staunch Knight. Okay. I am going to say Saurians. I'll put my archives in my hand. I am going to reap with Falafosaurus. Top three. Archive one. Discard. And I'll play a Library of Polosaurus. I'll play a Paraguardian. Um, I am going to reap. Actually, I should Golden Spiral the Falafosaurus to ready and reap. Two. So I will guess archive discard hand. I'll play library of Polosaurus. Um six. I'm gonna phalanx strike the hit demon. Um and then I'll reap with the Triserian Legionary. And it is your turn. I'll draw one. Go ahead. All right, I'll say this. I will dance of doom for even. Mm, choose a number. Oh, OK. Uh, I will dance of doom for four. Four? Well, no, I guess. Six is probably better. Six? Yep. Okay. Yeah. 
Mountain Sun Terror. The Succubus play Terror, play Mind Barb. And that's it. Okay. All right, so I have Forge. If I only have one card left in my deck and I use Philophosaurus, do I have to archive it first? I think so. It says archive, add one to your hand, and discard one. Mm -hmm. You have to choose in that order. Okay. Uh, I am. <laughs> I was thinking it was like choose even rod. I don't know why. Is that a, is that a card in? I don't know. I know it's a card in the new magic set. Maybe that's what messed me up. Yeah. Which is the there's the dudes who destroy even yeah. and odd. Okay, I am gonna say Saurians. I'm gonna play Shrix. I will exalt. Um Blophosaurus is gonna reap. And uh like I said, I think where I'm gonna work under the assumption that I have to just archive this card. Yeah. Um I am gonna Polysaurus this onto the succubus. Uh Tricerian Legionary is gonna kill the succubus. Dead. Doesn't Polysaurus just put in your pool? Oh. Yeah, just, just get get your, your pool. Oh, just get oh, oh yeah, and I don't have to kill the succubus. Yeah. Um Tricerian Legionary. Yeah, Shred. So have to kill to kill those disc creatures. We're only out at this point of Shred. So um, I'm gonna Golden Spiral. A Philophosaurus into Succubus. And Tricerian Legionary is going to fight the Terror, this Terror, the Assault. Um, and I will say check with seven. It's your turn. I will draw two. Didn't have to rest. Ah! 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 Yep. Yep. All right, well, this guy's moving on. Yep. Congratulations, Deck. Dude, Saurians. <laughs> yeah. Saurians kind of took over the game there. Yeah. Full off source will do that. Yeah. I just have no way to kill stuff except for the hand of disses, so. Wards, man. Yep. Zimtor. Okay. Dark Reap, you're right. We got Jaxine, Inner Court Hierophant. And we got the Shrewd Infiltrator of Cat's Roost. AOA. Uh, also AOA. Yes, also A lot of AOA, AOA decks tonight. Yep. Double Amber Spine Mongrel. Piranha so, Monkeys. This one has three ZWAX researchers and knowledge is power. <laughs> Interesting. What, or what, what, or went, what went wrong with that deck then? No Amber Control? I think that may be the case here. Yeah. We got, we got ourselves a case of no Amber Control. It's got Cutthroat Research. Oh yeah, so, classic. That. <laughs> yeah, I see two blood of the titans. Yeah, yeah, it's got stuff. You can it have a power does. twenty one loll up the titanic. Jeez, you can you can make loll up the titanic power twenty one and then play into the fray on him. <laughs> two has no flux in here. 
Yeah, that'd be sweet. Flex for ten. It was even more likely in AOA to just get a deck with no amber control, so like that's not surprising. Yeah. This one has a Yancey Yank. Oh. And two routine jobs. Oh. Giving it an unprecedented amount of amber control for the night. Oh, did you see the new spoil cards that came out in Germany? Like, apparently, like, they just released it in Germany. Oh, wow. Or, like, I guess some stores got their hands on cases or star ah, decks or something for okay. the game. There's a, there's a two power Shadows guy that when you play him, he steals one for each forged key your opponent has. Ooh. So. I think it's it's pretty good. It's, I mean, the Ronnie if they have two keys. So. Yeah. I don't think that he, they're going to announce keyboards online no, anytime man. soon. There's like literally no indicator. So all you got's the Crucible and Knowledge's Power right now to play online. No indicator. Tabletop sim. Yeah, I guess if you you have to have. Find someone that already has the mod, right? Because I can't, you can't download it anymore. At least you couldn't as of the other day when I looked. Yeah, it's better than Ronnie when your opponent has two keys because they don't have to be at seven. Uh, there's also a taunt guy, uh, a Shadow's taunt guy. He's like six power, and he says he can't fight, but when he would take damage, you steal one instead. Yeah. Yeah. What? When he would take damage? Or, I'm sorry, when he would deal damage. Oh. Yeah, it's when he would deal damage. So if they fight into him. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That guy's crazy. Yeah. That guy's legit crazy. He's pretty good. It's like a bizarro shadow self. Right. The routine jobs. Oh. Tim. Telega. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Two snakes. Shred himself. <laughs> uh, uh, Um, my hand's too sweet to mulligan, so I'm gonna keep it. Uh, that does have a lot of negative synergy. You know what, we can make, we can make this work. I'm gonna play sloppy lab work. I am gonna discard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna archive. Then I am gonna discard for fun. Lord Callus, so to tier one. Love the stream. Too bad I'm watching this VODs most of the time. Well, that's totally fine. Sorry. That's why they're appreciate there. Appreciate it. Well, we appreciate you. Any engagement, yeah. we appreciate. Um, five I think I think we have like a lot of EU watchers, so we're always like starting when it's you know midnight. Yeah, okay, I'll play. I'll play this. I'll play the Wretched Doll and the uh, Amber Spine Imp. Amber Imp. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to draw two. Okay, my turn. Another Lord. <laughs> I am gonna play Phila the Researcher, and then I'm gonna Wild Wormhole, and maybe I hit a creature. <laughs> it's a routine job. Um, and then I guess I'll play the Strange Gizmo. It could backfire. It's too early to tell. And your turn. I'll draw. Play uh, Logos. I will. Standardized testing. Okay. ZYX researcher. I actually think it's fine to get the standardized testing here. Your turn. Okay, I'm gonna say untamed. I'm gonna um Discard Chota Hazri and then I'll play two Amber Spine Mongrels. And it's your turn, I will draw three. Well, I guess I'm not reaping anytime soon. Uh, we'll play. The Brobnar. I'll Blood Money and Mongrel. 
play lol play caffeine blood of the titans Yeah, my roll is pretty sweet. I agree. Okay, I am going to say untamed. I'm going to put my archives in my hand. I am going to reap with a mongrel and reap with a mongrel. I am going to play full moon and then piranha monkeys. Um, so two, two, and I get one from the full moon. So I'll say check with six, and it is your turn. Oh. They. Yeah, Amber Spine Mongrel's awesome. So this. I I just wish I just wish it got printed in other sets. Well poltergeist the strange gizmo. Play Jerk. Discard Seismo Tangler. Play Exhum. Or Search your Man. Look at the top card of my deck. Okay. Um, I'll wretched doll. This guy. Okay. All right. So my turn. I will forge. I am going to say shadows. I'm going to routine job. I am going to play the Antsy Gang. I am going to play a Scowly Caper. Mm. Um, and then I am going to play some Throwing Stars. Uh, I, I like briefly considered killing these, but I think I forced you to. Um, do something about them otherwise. One on Yerk. I'll put one on Calphine and then one on Wallop. All right, uh, your turn, I will draw. Go ahead. Let's see, look at something. I don't want to give you two amber. Two amber I can never take away. <laughs> so I'll play Serenized Testing. So twos and lollops. Yeah. I guess Scally T Caper didn't pass the test. I will play... Librarian. UX Researcher. Well, wormhole. Backup copy. There. Knowledge is power. I'll work up. Okay, I am going to say say Logos. I'm gonna play CYX Researcher. Archive the top card. That was the archive card. I am gonna play Lab Work and archive a card. 
I'm gonna play Pipip. Um, and it is your turn. We're off. All right, I'll say Brodnar. Fight this is UX researcher. Alpine. Okay. Kill a bunch of stuff. Play Wink Shaman, the other one. Play Forge Master and Tremor, the gang. Okay, I am going to say Untamed. I'll put my archives into my hand. I am going to play Telega, Tadlin, uh, Fang House, and Paka. And it is your turn. I will draw to you. I'll say this. I'll go ahead and take out the Telega. Streak. Gub. Dust Imp, Misery Exploit, or nothing, and I'll put a counter on the pocket. Okay. I was supposed to have a uh, archive card at the end last turn. That means I would have probably picked up archives because there's three discards in here. Um, okay. So I need to redo that turn. Rick was here? Yeah. I also forgot all these cards on my, my archive. Okay. Um, Cause I'll play Onyx Knight to destroy all odd power creatures. So yeah, <laughs> that was a little better. Okay, and then Then I will play Streak. I will play Gub. Play Dustin. Play Not Finish with You. Okay, you can ban that guy. Um, Not Finish with You is not going to shuffle anything in. Goodbye. First. First actual ban. It's spot it's yeah. bots. Yeah. Um Exum. The researcher. Okay. Then I'll read. That's it. Okay. I am gonna say shadow, so I'm gonna sucker punch the street. Oh, if you did, get your stuff sorted before we continue. Yeah, I'm getting there. If you could please, if you please just organize the game. Could you please do that for me? <laughs> um, I am going to Miasma. Okay. And it's your turn. I'll draw to you. How do I kill my Forge Master Og? Damn it. <laughs> okay. I'll uh what's this. Oh wait, I was supposed to archive a card. I will say for Obner. War Grumpus, discard cowards end, discard end of the fray, I'll blow the Titans. Titan Librarian, I guess. Things I keep forgetting to use. I will continue to forget to use them. All right, that's it. Tackle the bunch. I discard cards end. I don't really want to kill all my stuff just to kill Og. I'll lose some Amber, but I feel like it's better to have the board.
Also, who would buy followers? That's like, that makes no sense. Earn your followers, dog. Yeah. It's just also it's just followers. Like, if you buy followers, those people aren't going to watch your stream. I don't understand. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything. The, the follower number. I never go to a stream and then look at the follower number and yeah. think that that, num that mattered no. at all in the slightest. There's, there's like more than enough bots that'll like follow you on Twitter anyway. So. <laughs> um, I am gonna say shadows. I'm gonna put my archives into my hand. I am gonna sucker punch the dust imp. There, since all that amber is just lost yeah. to the rain. Um, I will play a furtive investors. Get a seven. And it is your turn. Sucker punches in there, guys. I'll say check with seven. Say logos. Pick the archive. I'll reap, reap, reap. Cutthroat research. Play cutthroat research. Play lab work. Actually, not lab work yet. Play ZYX researcher. Uh, then I'll play lab work. That's terrible. Okay. Okay, I will forge. This is gone. Yeah, no, definitely destroyed the most amber of the night. Um, I will say logos. I'll play two brain eaters. Uh, I'll start the turn by playing binate rupture and interdimensional graft. And then um, tell you to go ahead. You forge your key. I'll draw. I had this. It, I I had just assembled the combo, and then you played Forge Master right after that. Um, so that doesn't work, I guess. No, it does not because you forge the key and you blow up all of your. You get to choose which yeah. one happens, and so you're like, I'll blow up all the amber. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So yeah, that's I I, I think I lost the game because of Forge Master Og. Um. I couldn't find a way to kill him. And then you were like, is there a way for me to kill my own Forge Master? I was like, <laughs> Please. is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? Um, but now I'm out of time. Yeah. Okay, I'll say Barabnar. Play the Lollop. I'll reap the Grumpus. Waffle fight a brain eater. Play Calpine. Um, reap three more times. Okay. There are some invisible dudes that you cannot see on your screen right now. I do remember that storm strong. Everyone's complaining about the combo. Okay, I am going to say Sanctum. Not Sanctum. I'm going to say uh, Logos. I'll play Wild Wormhole. What's this card? <laughs> Furtive Investors. Oh, incredible. God. Uh, so it actually gets me a total of three. Yeah. Uh, I reap with Brain Eater. I said, go. There's nothing in the deck that stops that, is there? Yeah, there's no error control. Okay. I guess you win. Uh, <laughs> okay. Wow. Yep. All right, moving on. Doesn't matter if I have 12 creatures on the board. Yeah. You can't, if you can't stop the key... 
Ha! I, I did play Brig and win. <laughs> Versus Forge Master Owen. You did. Jeez. All right. <laughs> uh, good old Wild Wormhole. Technically, you knew who that card was. Yeah, I should have known. I was. I didn't think there was anything that could have won the game there. <laughs> Broke your streak of seven wrong predictions in a row. That's pretty impressive. All right, Jack Skeen. All right, next up. <laughs> Avery Walker. Of the Keeper's Forest. It's just, like, impossible to tell with these decks. Right. I don't... The thing is... When the decks are of this quality, I would call these like D tier quality yeah. because um, they can eventually win the game. I think there are probably some decks out there that can't. Um, uh, we... okay. um, the I think it's like a matter of who draws the hand that's most resembling functional first. Mm, right. <laughs> This deck does have three Infernuses, but it definitely owe three, so. Infernus is like also worse in this tournament, so. It is well, worse the, against bad decks. Well the the did the four Infernus deck did it advance? I can't remember. Yeah, it it, it it's still around. It lost that game. Yeah. So there you go. The, the four and furnace deck still hanging around. I had considered playing that deck for Archon, which is funny to me. <laughs> Yikes. I had, I, had, I had put some reps in with it and just came to the conclusion that it wasn't, it was not consistent enough. Mm -hmm. I won games with it, um, and but it was like directly proportional to the amount of like amber pips that were in my opponent's decks. If they were just like, they, they were just ignoring if they ignored me and tried to just play cards, um, I would win. Right. But if they just used a board, yeah. Lose. But if we if we like got into any sort of prolonged altercation, then I would lose. Yeah, I think you're probably right, Storm. When your opponent's deck is like two barn raisings and it has it has some number of amber pips you can purge in your own. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's like untamed is real good to remove for the game because the untamed in that deck is wretched. Seven, four. Oh, when are you going to be on the Sanctimonious podcast? Uh, I recorded, so whenever the next episode's coming out. Okay. So I don't know the <laughs> date for that, but yeah. I am going to Mulligan. Me too. But yes. Um, recorded. Uh, Alex was not on it. But because uh, we recorded it super early, we actually recorded it before Shadow Worlds happened. Mm. Um, so uh, we um, talked about the glorious view for the most part. So that's cool. And uh, Jake's internet cut out in the middle of it, so uh, uh, Dan and I had to finish it. But yeah. remind everyone once again we're going to be doing co-op mondays we're going to dive into lord of the rings lcg for the very first time i'll have to brush up on the rules i haven't played it in four or five years yeah it's probably been three for me uh I so i skimmed through um i skimmed through the finals i saw who won and i'll avoid spoilers right now um or i'm pretty sure i saw who won um, uh, down to five. Okay. What's what's going on? Here's this deck. What's going on in this deck? The first. Look at I E. Who commentated the finals? Uh, it was 
Grant, Justice Blinded. I think there was some other commentary in there as well. Okay. So your first right. Thought you won the roll. I rolled, I rolled like a four, or did I roll a seven? So you rolled a seven. I thought. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, I will go first. I will play a Bornet. I was Mola getting like I was going second. Yeah. Okay. Go uh, ahead. I'll draw. I'm pretty sure you won. But... I'll play Subtle Mall and Simon. I am. Shh, Lord Farquaad, don't say anything. Justin was first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I am going to say dis. I'm going to discard, measure, exploit. I'm going to festering touch and kill Simon. We're going to reap with Bornet. Give me that deck. Uh. There you go. Oh, lots of furnaces, I see. Actually, I'm gonna get gray. Screw that, dude. Okay. You guys bonkers. And your turn, I will draw to you. Should have flashbacks against, uh, against David. With yeah. gray. Yeah. David every time Cordero. I play, every time I, get, I play against Dave Cordero, he's playing out information in Officer Gray and like <laughs> archive like a tribute or something. Yeah. So. Stream third and fourth on your channel. Cool. Sweet. Yeah, congrats on the finish. Top yeah. four is top four is very respectable. Yeah. So. All right. I'll say this. Festering touch the Bornet and misery exploit. And play Malzin. For sure. Okay. I am gonna say Brobdar. I'm gonna discard two barn raisings. I'm gonna play a rag org. And I'll play a Grok. It's your turn. I will draw. This deck is this deck is bad. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna say dis. I will fight the Bornet. Um, play in furnace. I'll get the festering touch and uh, misery exploit. That's it. I am going to say dis. I'm going to play a rock grub and make you lose one. I'm going to play a spider. I'm going to buzzle. I'll purge the spider and I'll fight Malison off the table. And it is your turn. I'm going to draw three. Say Star Alliance. Play a Tabor. I'm going to give him a cloaking dongle. And I will give Infernus a disruption field. That's it. I am going to say Saurians. I'm going to play Regrettable Meteor. Oh, it's six power, never mind. Yeah, six. I am going to Axiom. Got two chains. I'm going to play Prefectus Ludo, and I'm going to put a Calipigeon on Grok. Mm. And it is your turn. I'll drop a chain and draw three. Yeah, there. These are O three decks. I mean, that's all. That's all I can tell you. All I got to tell you. Uh, I will say shadows. Discard bad penny. I will play chain gang. Play cell chain. Steel. And now we use Settle Mall. The Hugger Mugger. Okay. That is it. Okay. I am going to say Brobnar. I'm going to play Flamethrower. Grok. It's going to punch yeah. that chain gang. Yep. Yeah. 
Oh my god, I hate I hate that card so much. And I'll drop the chain, and it's your turn. Oh, three. I'll say Starlance, Blood Saber, and Go Fucker Marker of Stunner. That's it. Okay, I am going to say Saurians. I'm going to play Brutodon Auxiliary. I'm going to play Compsos Horospex. Um, Prefectus Ludo is going to kill Tabor. Competitive Keyforge costs about one one millionth the cost of competitive magic. Yeah. <laughs> if you buy a box of decks, you're going to have something that's competitive. Yeah. Uh, something I wanted to say about Shadow Worlds um, from watching it uh, this weekend, the games I commented on. Um, honestly, the decks that I saw people playing, the, the Italian team that went 6 0, their triad decks um, were like, you know, like low 70. AOA um, stuff that would go for like thirty to fifty dollars if you're reselling it, right? Yeah, probably not even that much, honestly. Hmm. Um, so you know, like the what the what passes the bar for a competitive Keyforge deck is a lot more accessible than people think. Yeah, and you paid ten dollars for each of your uh, yeah, you know, top decks right. in your yeah, top the, the, well, 30, top, 16 players in the world. And, it, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So. Yeah, just play exactly. You learn yeah. your deck. You, you gotta play. You, you gotta find a deck that works for you. You find a deck that's a lot of different answers. For knowing I, and like, it's one of those things where the I feel like knowing the game gives you so much of an advantage over your opponents. Mm -hmm. um, knowing just like fundamentals of the game, the way it works. Um, I think a lot of people try to find a deck that's going to play itself. Yeah, right. And um, I think the best decks are not going to do that. So all right, I'll say uh, dis. I'll discard Nefru. I will play Furnace to get your stuff. Sure, I, don't, I have no amber. So yeah, I can still purge things. Yeah, um, that's sure. You're making my deck better because the my best cards are in my hand currently. I mean, I get I get Axiom and Rod Rub. I will. I guess I need to play the Demon's Bane first. Sure. Yeah, that way you don't have to kill your guy. Actually, I, I will kill my Furnace. Sure. And then I'll not finish the. Okay. Did I not get an Amber for the Demon's Bane? I, had, I, the, I thought I had, I'd start with four, right? I had, honestly I don't know at this point. Like, I was answering questions. I'm um, going to start with four. Okay. So getting Furnaces. I'll get chain game. That's it. Uh, I can stop the key or I can develop a board. You sold your best deck for 420. Woo! Goodness. That is a lot. I think yeah. every, I think I would sell almost any one of my decks except Light Tasker, given the right offer. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I could part with Light Tasker. Uh, there's a couple that's got I have like sentimental value. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, like you, both of your glorious few decks. I feel yeah, like. yeah. Uh, that I don't think I would ever sell Confage. No. Um, Um, I'm just gonna say Saurian. I'm gonna play Falafosaurus. I'll play a Falafosaurus. Um, Ludo is gonna fight Hugger Mugger. Brutonox is gonna fight Hugger Mugger. 
And then I'm gonna reap with Compso's Har Specs, and he's gonna take two for the Bragwerg. And it's your turn. I will draw two. Okay. See, shows. Play Ronnie. Play Breaker Hill. I trust no one. Play Finch Cloak, Chain Gang, Settle Mall. Sure. Okay. Who bullied Sarin's don't beat me. He's he's definitely gonna punch the chain gang's definitely getting punched. That's hundred percent chance. I am going to say Saurians. Um, Compsos Harispex is going to reap. Uh, take the damage for the Ragward. I'm going to reap with Falophosaurus. Uh, archive, discard, and hand. Um, Falafasaurus is going to reap. Oh, discard, archive, and hand. Um, Pluto's going to reap. Rudodon's going to reap. I am going to play Axiom. Get two chains. And I'm going to play Odawak. And your turn. A check because of the Calipigian. Drop chain. All right, say this. Name Spectre and Furnace. Only two pips in there. I am going to say Brobnar. Um, I'll say Brobnar. Flame Thrower, the Imp Spectre. Um, Grok is going to kill Infernus. Punch Amber, how are you? I'm going to play Mega Shorty and Forge Master Og, and a Warrior's Refrain stun the Imp Spectre. I'll say check, and it's your turn. I'll say Brobnar. Drop a chain. Okay, I'll say, I'll say dis. Drop a chain, um, three. The Gleeful Mayhem. So I'll do five, five, five. I'll get a card from the hand. Play in furnace. Rainy. Ah. <laughs> 
I don't know. Look in the look in the thing. I guess I can I can dig it up. In a sec. Your turn. Okay. Gonna say this. I'm gonna play Malison. I am gonna play actually sculpt my next hand. Sure. Uh I'll play not finished with you. Shuffle and Grok. Pogo Pogo Calfine. There you go, right there. Uh, I am going to exhume Gwack. Um, and it's your turn. I will draw these three and uh, shuffle two more. I'll say Star Alliance. Play a book. King Can. Yeah. Okay, I am going to say Brobnar. Um. I am going to play Calfine, Ogopogo, and Groke. Um, Mega Shorty is going to fight Kincan. And Forge Master Og is going to take two. Let's say check with six, it's your turn. I guess I'll flamethrower and deal with damage to each of them. I will draw three. I have a bunch of stuff in the archives. There it will remain. Mm. Uh, I'll say shadows. Play Breaker Hill. Test string blow. Code whack. I'll settle chain, settle mall. Oh, those are all the advancing decks from the pod. There's three. Oh, it was like two one two one two one three oh three. Uh, that's pretty funny. Oh, I need one more. There's some some dinos. Okay. okay. I will forge. I am going to say Brobnar. I'm going to play Barn Raising. 3021203. Oh, okay. Um I mean I very possibly lose this game to the same for the same reason. I am going to flamethrower and furnace. Okay. I'm gonna play Shorty's Brew on Calphine. Grok is gonna fight Explorer Rover. He'll lose two because of barn raising and the Grok. Uh, I am gonna reap with Mega Shorty. He's gonna take two and get mad about it. <laughs> Calphine's gonna reap. Og is gonna reap. Pogopogo's gonna reap. And it's your turn. I will draw four. Uh, I'll say this. I'll fight Odoak. guys the flamethrower the shoot 
there. Play in Furnace. We got the Brew and Odwak. What's up? I am going to say Brobnar. Um, uh, I guess Mega Shorty is going to fight and furnace us off the table. Pogo Pogo is going to reap. Um, I will reap with Calphine. Yeah, I'll just stay at six. So I know you got Ronnie's. I know you got other stuff. I don't expect to forge here, but um, play Star Lance. I will play Tucker, Chan, Quadra Quarter. Book. Um, probably not. Okay, so McKee's cost plus one. Okay, I'll pick up my archives and say Saurians. I am going to play... Play Brutodon Auxiliary. I'll play Prefectus Ludo. And then I will put uh, the Calpidgeon on Alphine. And it is your turn. Say check with six. Okay, I'll say shadows. Play Breaker Hill. A string below the Rook. Settle ball. Okay. All right, I will I will say Saurians. Um Rudon Auxiliary is gonna fight Kirker. Ludo is gonna fight Chan. I am gonna play Falophosaurus. His keys are plus two, so he didn't forge. And it is your turn. Two. Now I forge. Okay, I will say Starlance, play Tabor, put a stunner on Breaker Hill. I think I do use book now for this. I'll discard, I only play, oh it's, it becomes different, so yeah, I'll, I'll discard Nefru, play not finish with you. Do I care about furnaces? I guess I do. I can purge my own stuff. This gets shuffled. Okay, a forge. Yep. I am going to say Brobnar. I'm going to play Bellowing Patrizate. I am going to play Barn Raising. Um, Calphine is going to fight Tabor and Bullet Breaker Hill. You'll lose one to the Barn Raising. 
Mega Shorty's gonna reap. Get mad about it. Og and Ogopogo are both gonna reap. Oh, I actually have to leave. The, leave yeah, yeah, I have to leave, leave the, the one, one on there. Yeah. Um, otherwise, uh, I lose that one, right? Yeah. So. Uh, sure, I'll leave it there. Um, so there's another two then. Uh, I, should, I should only have this. I should have that. Okay. Uh, your turn. I will draw you. Okay, let's say this. All misery exploit. Five. All demons bane the Malzin. Okay. And Forgot about the misery exploit. Play in furnace. It's bane stunner. I don't I don't I don't have anything. Okay. Uh, I would have had to. Yeah. Ah, uh, that game was infuriating. I think that is my. <laughs> I don't know which I hate more. AOA where you play guys on the board and they die, or a game like that where I'm doing things and none of it matters. Yeah. Um. So yeah. That one, I I don't know. Maybe I should have. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to think about it. This deck advances. Um. Yeah. I don't think it mattered how many I grabbed, but I think I'm pretty sure I grabbed five. But maybe not. Uh, that was Ibri Walker. Yeah. All right. Last one. Volt Warp versus Lord Fantastic Ratcatcher. I, I I think I had something I had in excess of ten cards discarded from my hand that game, um, and I had multiple chains throughout the game as well. I know there was one turn where I started the turn with three cards in hand. Yeah, because I discarded so, two. Yeah. Uh, Take care, autocans. See ya. I am on Volt. Okay. Uh, I think that deck's probably pretty decent. This yeah, is the one we opened uh, during the. Yeah, I got immediately eliminated, but there was, March Madness. Cool, there was yeah. cool stuff going on. Yeah, we just want to play it again. I mean, all my all my Amber Nile in that deck was fighting based. Right. So. Did you have Ronnie the turn? I didn't. I didn't go over six. I did not have Ronnie. That okay. Turn. I think that may have been the misplay. I should have just generated as much amber as I could in there. Um, I was just expecting you to Ronnie me and trust no one. Um, so I would just I would only be generating amber for you to take from right. me. Yeah, I I didn't have all I had was the large recorder that turn. I think. Yeah. I would have. Uh, I think I would have. Yeah, I don't know. I I I think I played scared there. I think I probably should have just gone for it. Um, it's just when that when that type of game happens, you look back on it and you're like, "What decision did I make wrong?" Yeah. Um. So, because I felt like I had figured out. That's a good point. That Og would it would have made it extra amber not matter because if you forged. Yeah, you know, but kind of but the right. but the thing was was actually forging. Yeah. Right. Because I spent the next three turns trying to forge. If I forge, then I can start over and, yeah. and like I, I can worry about it then. But like that that's the thing. Was like I needed that checkpoint. I needed that that second key forge so I could. I don't think it was necessarily there. like a wrong call, but it's it's a hindsight. It's, you had right? just reshuffled. You had yeah, just reshuffled. Sure. I don't know how many cards you drew, but you just reshuffled. Uh, so I had the barn raising. So if you like play dudes or whatever, I can just delete the amber myself. So I don't know. I think I think I think I played scared there, and it cost me. I think I was. I think it was tilted from all the infernising that <laughs> happened in that game. That'll do that. The the infernising and the hand discarding. That's what tilted me, and I couldn't like. I like was finally to the point where I had like put that out of my brain, so it like wasn't bothering me. Um, and then, um, uh, and I think that's when I started playing scared. Was he's just gonna start keep? He's gonna keep deleting my amber. If you're a if you're a YouTube watcher. This is the part where you rewind and you go see how much amber I lost to Infernus that game, and put it in the comments. Uh, you were first. So I'm pretty sure it was like 
between the stealing and the infernusing, it had to have been... 17. <laughs> it was a lot. I will keep. Sure. Playbook. Sweet. Uh, I will say Logos. I'm going to play Memory Chip. Uh, I'm going to play Tau Tau Vapors. I will Archive. Uh, I'm going to play Thorium Plasmate. Uh, and I'll play the Sad Code Monkey. He's got no friends. Um, go ahead. I'll draw. Okay. I'm going to play Star Alliance. I'm going to YOLO Molina and a book. Okay. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> okay. I am going to say um, this. I'm going to throw away this Arise. I'm sure I could do something great with it later. Uh, I'll play Soul Fiddle. I'll play Sinestra. I'll play Not Finished With You. Um, so if you play something left on flank. your left flank, so here. Okay. Um, then you lose one. You don't have any amber right now to lose anyway. But okay, your turn. I will draw. I'll say this. I will play EE. -E. I'm gonna discard and furnace to purge your not finished with you. Take one. I will discard drain touch, purge your eyes. Leg zoom. Furnace. Purge those things. Sure. And that's it. Okay. I am going to say Brobnar. Uh, I'm going to Blood Money EE. -E. I'm going to play Shorty. I'm going to play NARP. Uh, I'll play Overrun. And it's your turn. I'll draw three. I'll say Star Alliance. Play Kirker Kirby. I'll zap. It's one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll shoot Jordy. Reap with the master. Uh, Kirby. Give himself a soul keeper. I don't think it's worth booking. So that's it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say Brobnar. Uh, Narp is going to fight EE. E. Okay. Take the Hazardous. I'll play Ganger Chieftain, and Narp's going to fight EE. E. Take three, four. I am going to play a little Rapskull. And it is your turn. I will draw two. That rap school. All right, I'll say Star Lance. Fight. Fight the rap school. Play. Peace Accord. This game's two. And after a creature is used to fight, its controller loses four, destroyed Peace Accord. Okay. Um, Kirby. Is going to tremor here? Reap with Kirkar. I will book. Fudge. All right, your turn. 
Okay, I'm gonna say Logos, I'm gonna archive a card. I'm gonna play a second memory chip. I'm gonna play Wormhole Tech, Reassembling Automaton, and Vellum. Oh god. And it is your turn, I will draw. Say Brobnar, play Flamethrower, and play Warriors for Frank. Sorry, stop. Okay, I right. stun monkey, free stun monkey. I am going to say logos. I'm gonna archive to. I'm gonna play hide. I'm gonna unstun all my guys. And it is your turn. I will draw three. Oof. Okay, I'll say Starlance. Commander Chan, play Rover, Unstun, Reap Reap, Use Book. God. Okay, I'm done. I am going to say Logos, and I'm going to archive two. I'm going to information exchange. Uh, wormhole text is going to reap. Let's go to the archives. Uh, I'm going to reap with hide, so I'm going to draw to you because of control vellum. I'm going to play a hologramophone. I am going to reap with vellum. Is going to archive to because I have hide. Reassembling automaton is going to reap. And it's your turn. All right, say this. I think I'm in trouble too. Uh, I'll play Rock Rub, make you lose one. Play Little Fall, play a Soul Keeper. Here. And reap. Okay, so I forge for six. <laughs> Yeah. You right there? You doing okay? Sneezy woke up. Let's get some some dog sneezies. Okay, I'm gonna say logos. And archive. I am. What's this last card? I can't. I literally can't keep track of all the cards <laughs> in the stack at this point. Um. Okay, I think I know what this is. All right, so I am going to reap with Wormhole Tech. I'm going to archive Ederim. No, it was a little fun. Ederim already in here? Oh, yeah, he was like archived. I archived him a million years ago. Um, yeah. I am going to reap with Hide. Make a mono logo stack. Draw two. I 
am going to remote access your book. Pretty good. Uh, actually, actually, I should finish. You should oh, finish no, your no, Laura's turn. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's right? fine. Um, if I don't want to archive with oh, her because okay. um, I, I lose like the reassembly automaton. I want to. I should hologramophone something. I guess I'll get uh, hide. Do you want to reap with those first, then? I can't read with him because of the NARP, oh. but I do want to read okay. here. I don't want to archive anything because I know it's all Brob NARP yeah. down there. Um, I am going to play two Ire Staffs. I am going to play Brawn Nine Toes. Um, I'll play Overrun. And then I'll play a little Rapskull. Hmm. And it is your turn. All right, Forge. I draw and draw. I have a five card hand. Okay, let's play Star Alliance. Um, Play Melina, play Frain. I will fight for the rap school. Okay. Lose four. And then he'll let me fight with Lothal. Capture one. I'll reap with Melina. Reap with Kirkar. Reap with Kirby. Reap with Explorer Rover. I will use Kirby to play Hecatomb. For each disc creature. And I gain one. Each player gains one for each disc creature destroyed this way. So I gain one for Sinestra. I get one. And I get to destroy the most powerful creature. Nerf is eight. Okay. Two. I get three. Okay. Is it? All right. So forge. I don't have a deterministic way to um because I have the remote access I could use your book of LEQ, but I don't have a deterministic way to guarantee that. Uh I'm gonna pick up my archives and say dis. Um This is definitely a battle of the nerds. Uh, I'm gonna draining touch. Um, Kirby he kills five, so he'll kill ground nine toes. Actually, I'll kill a Ganger Chieftain. Off chance that I may want to fight. Um, I am going to play Imp Specter, Lilithal, <laughs> Edoroom. That's an amazing Eddie emote. Uh. <laughs> it's pretty good. I'm gonna soul fiddle this arms master. I'm gonna play two not finished with yous. Um I will I'm finished with them. <laughs> and then 
I'll play two evil eyes. Mm. Yeah, say check with nine. It's your turn. Should play him like this. Inspector at a room. I was going to say, would you believe that I haven't been through the deck once, but then I forgot I bricked on book like three times. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, can't. If I can capture one, zoom furnace if I hit this on book, but that still doesn't stop you. So no axing. So, yeah, that is it. <laughs> you just had to play the whole deck. Yeah, if I had a deterministic way to turn before, I, I think I could have um, done something really sweet, but mm. the problem was my discard pile was three different factions. Oh. Um, so there was no way to know uh, with the remote access. I was I was in that game more than I thought I was. I think you were in control of that game. Yeah. Um you were a I key ahead. Like it. Yeah. You were a key ahead. I like, forgot I, I got think... that key way early. Yeah. Uh, all right. I don't I don't think you realize how much you disrupted me at the very beginning of that game. Yeah. It was it was like it was uh it was very annoying. Okay. Is it? Yeah, I think I think if you had hit the the book one time, you you uh, of the three or something that you missed. Yeah, it was three. Um, I think if you hit the book there, you you probably win the game because it was I was about to turn away. All right. Well, um, thanks for watching. We We're appreciate y'all. These games. bad decks. These bad decks really tilt me. <laughs> they really do. Yeah. Stop caring. I, I I just I can't I can't cut it out of me. These games don't matter. I know, but I can't cut it out of me. <laughs> I want to I wanna win. I want to win so bad. Theoretically, they should be less tilting as like if furnaces get cut out. Maybe. Or maybe when furnaces just keep advancing, I don't know. Um, yeah, those are good games. Fun. I uh, will be playing Lord of the Rings tomorrow. Come join us. We're going to start with a saga of the Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Uh, so it's like the story campaign yeah. mode. So yeah, we, we start at... It'll... Uh, also be a learning stream. We cause... start on the desert planet Tatooine. Yeah. <laughs> With our hero, Luke uh -huh. Skywalker. <laughs> Luke Baggins. Um, yeah, it'll be, a, it'll be a learning stream, definitely for the first game, because we're going to be figuring it out. Nathan, yeah. I'll, I'll probably be teaching it mostly to Nathan. Yeah, I we'll vaguely picking, remember. We'll picking it up as yeah, we go. I, va I vaguely remember what's going on, but there's a lot of, like, engaging... Yeah, there's, there's like engaging is the weirdest thing. I don't yeah. remember exactly how it works. But it's it's not, it's not intuitive. No, nah, it's not. It's it's like a giant number. Yeah, uh, and you have like a threat dial that ticks up every turn, and that's based on how like that's how different enemies engage you based on how much. Threat yeah, you have. because if there's if there's too much threat, the enemies notice you and show yeah. up. So. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's it's like meant to be like so you can build and stuff and not have to worry about enemies, but they they like hang out in the middle of the board. Yeah, but they kind of pile they up. Engage, yeah. Yeah, they pile up, so like you have to deal with them eventually. But it's 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 a game that Arkham and Marvel definitely built off of with their mechanics. So you'll see a lot of things that are familiar uh, if you're a fan of Marvel. And it, I've it's a lot of good stuff. Too. Yeah. And Arkham, yeah, yeah, and it's it's good. It's good. It's got Lord of the Rings theme. We're gonna be reading all the the delicious story campaign text. Yeah, the there's, flavor text. There's actually flavor, unlike Marvel Champions. One of my complaints about Marvel Champions <laughs> is there's not a flavor. One, one of the few complaints. Yeah, what that should be fixed by the next campaign, I think, if they add yeah. a story mode into it. So yeah, story um, mode would be sweet. Yeah, so that should be fun. Hopefully, you guys, uh, if you guys want to tune in, that'd be totally sweet. The first ever Lord of the Rings is LCG stream. Yep. Same time tomorrow, and then we'll it'll be getting back to Keyforge on Wednesday. Yeah, it'll be. Uh, we'll probably continue that up until Mass Mutation comes out. Yeah, so. yeah. Depending on how long it takes, we're not yeah. sure. If there's 18 total scenarios in the the link, the three books worth of content. So we don't know how many it's gonna, how many we're gonna get through a night yeah. or whatever. we don't, we don't, because we don't know. 
we don't know what we don't know yet so yeah. there's gonna be a lot of figuring it out um but that, that'll be our monday night content from this point forward. some sort of co-op content yeah we may um, swap in marvel every once in a while yeah yeah we, um, we have like a two and a half months until the good news is set, so. uh uh for the for the people who were in the loop about it it looks like the vast majority of the arkham horror stuff is is salvageable um the only thing the only the only cards that were really messed up were the weaknesses, the generic weaknesses. I did find my old Arkham Horror stuff, and they they're all there. So like I think all my weaknesses are there. So I do think that we can we can salvage it. Um, so um, I was definitely worried that it was just none of it was going to be salvageable. But yeah. there were some cards that got damp, but they weren't like soaked, um, and so they've dried and they. Um, uh they're they're totally fine now they're like a little warped i don't know if you've ever seen like water damage magic cards um that were like in a box um the dog expansion oh no it does it did not come out yet i don't know when it comes out which one the the barkham horror oh oh yeah because we definitely will be playing barkham horror i, I promise you <laughs> i guarantee we'll be playing barkham horror i bet I also bet. it's meant to play it's meant to be played like just the box i think Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. that'd be good. Because that those um, dog investigators aren't meant to be played like the rest of the game. Yeah, I gotcha. They're I probably believe. not balanced that way. I no, I think there's like different mechanics and keywords that like are dog based. <laughs> so pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty, pretty funny. excited for that. I yeah. don't know if they gave us a release date for that or not. I mean, I'm obviously probably got pushed back. So yeah, but yeah, we'll we'll definitely be playing Barkham Horror. Barkham Horror, a thousand percent. Yeah, I mean, Eddie will be raining treats when we <laughs> defeat the villain. <laughs> We'll, we'll see if we can play, play a hand with us. <laughs> he's, he's passed out. He's passed out right now. <laughs> I'm always so tired. We went on one walk today. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Appreciate oh, it. Uh, Card Game Necromancy Friday. Probably Warhammer Conquest. Warhammer Conquest. That should be fun. So, playing Conquest. Yeah. Looking forward to that. I know. I totally agree, Lord Farquaad. Totally agree. It's really <laughs> disrupting my Barkham. Yeah. Um, yeah, so everyone have a great night. Yep. We'll Goodbye. See you tomorrow for Lord of the Rings. You're free from plugs tonight. Oh, yeah. Just this so. Goodbye. See ya.